What's up Toy Nerds? Beat Factory here with another figure review for the AFTC UK YouTube page. This week I'll be showing you guys the Arrow Fig of the Arrow 2 pack from uh, DC Collectibles sculpted by Gently Giant Studios, uh, the same people from the Batman Origins toy line. So before we get into the figure, let me just show you the box real quick. So here we have the box. As you can see, it's a two pack. Forgot to mention that. It's a big box, so my backdrop doesn't cover it all. So um yeah, I already I removed Arrow, also known as Oliver Queen, from the box. And his nemesis, Deathstroke is still in the box. Uh, a quick look at Deathstroke shows us a nice sculpt, uh, not too much color on him, just uh, black and orange uh, trademark mask, looks very cool, and uh, his weapons. But I'll do a separate Deathstroke review uh, next week or something, top of the box. It says, uh, uh, it's pretty di difficult to see with the light. But it says, based on the hit CW TV show. The back so, of the box shows a picture of Arrow and Deathstroke. Standard vanilla, but not really super pics. <laughs> Just standing there. And a little bio. For people that want to read the bio, you can pause the video now. So, that was the box. Let's take a look at this amazing figure. I really like the sculpt. Very well done. Gently Giants really know how to sculpt their figures. Um, he has some nice paint shading, paint detail on him. For example, the little stripes on his vest, the little arrows at the side of his arms, shading on the hood, shading on the vest. The legs have also some nice paint detail on the boots. Overall, very nice paint job on this. Really like it. Stands out. Uh, pictures the character of the series very good. Um, has a, also a good head, head sculpt. Um, looks like the actor that plays all of them. Yeah, same same as with the Batman Origins figures. This is a very nice sculpt, and Gently Giants doesn't disappoint. Um, take it from the side. See those arrows. Sculpted on, very nice. Uh, like a little rubber, like a little strap going around his waist, which isn't sculpted. On the side over here, we also have a little arrow pouch, which is also sculpted on. And the arrows in this one are not removable. And then if we turn him around, at the back we have his arrow pouch. Also some nice paint detail on the vest, the back of the vest. As you can see, looks really good. So I'm really happy the way this figure came out. So accessory wise, he comes with his bow, of course, his weapon. Um, as I said, it's a very nice detailed bow. Nice paint, very nicely painted. Nice, some nice golden details on the handle and some leather straps. Um, he can hold it perfectly in his hand. Uh, he can. It's a elastic string, so he can hold it because his his hands are sculpt his fingers are sculpted just so he can uh, hold an arrow and the string. So that's cool. Um, he comes with arrows as well, of course. Let me just put that on the side because it keeps falling over. So he comes with two loose arrows over here, which he can shoot or place in his bow or hold in his hand or whatever. So he comes with two loose arrows and then he comes with a bunch of bundled arrows so they're stuck together and basically it's just so to fill his pouch so you can stick him in the pouch like that and then it just instead of having like five loose arrows they're just glued together which is fine by me I, I rather have it this way and then still have two loose arrows than um, having all these bunch of loose arrows that can only get lost, so it's pretty pretty nice touch. So uh, very nice accessories. 
and then he also comes with uh, two fist hands so you can replace his uh, bow hands just like that the fist hands are still in the box so I can't show you those but they just plug in with these pegs so easy to switch out and then you can give him fists so that's for the accessories of this guy uh, articulation wise it's okay it's not the best articulation it is a DC collectible uh, it, it's pretty much the same as the Origins the Batman, what the fuck was that uh, the Batman Origins line but I think this one is a little bit has a little bit less articulation than the Batman fix or different in any case especially the legs also uh, I got like this gap between his upper body and his leg I'm not sure if it's a factory default or it's just on mine the the pictures show it the, on, on the stock pictures it seems like he has it so I think it's a factory default uh, if you have this figure put in the comments if you have like the, the gap over here um, I find that if you bend the leg like now this is the way the legs are supposed to be and then the gap doesn't show as much but if I put the legs a little more back then the gap clearly shows so but then it I don't th yeah I don't know man I don't know I don't know if it's bothering me enough to switch it out but anyway articulation wise uh, his head is on a ball joint a uh, little bit of a gripe on my part what I think is that um, they they attach the hood to the rest of his vest so if you you can turn his head but the hood stays in place so the hood doesn't turn with him uh, yeah it's a bit we a uh, bit weird if you turn his head in certain poses and like the hood is not turning with it so the the half of his face is like which is also cool I dig it but it would be nice if the the hood moved along on his shoulders but no big deal um, so the head turns left and right up hindered by the hood a bit goes down pretty good pretty deep so that's okay uh, the arms move outwards only this far they're kinda of hindered by the vest which is a uh, soft rubber but still hinders the articulation um, they can rotate but also they can rotate 360 yeah so the vest doesn't hinder that movement uh, single jointed elbow which is a shame double jointed would have worked better with the bow um, no uh, swivel at the elbow swivel at the wrist and a wrist pivot uh, this hand is sculpted so he can hold his bow like I said this hand is sculpted to hold an arrow or the string of the bow and this hand pivots inwards and this hand doesn't pivot at all it just turns it's just oh wait it's stuck I see it now it does have a pivot there now it's loose so this pivots up and down this pivots up and down this pivots left and right uh, inwards sorry so that's uh, the movement of the arms he has uh, a decent ab crunch I kinda like it it's not too deep but he can crunch forward pretty good backwards pretty far as well turn left and right so that's okay uh, no lower body swivel or anything uh, now the legs is where the legs I don't like I don't like how they articulated the legs they are these how do you call it a T-joint and when you spread the legs he has like this piece sticking out I can even hold him by it so of course you're not gonna pose him like this or anything but nah it's so outdated man don't like that you, even if you like spread his legs a little bit you, 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 you're having that crotch thing so that's yeah that's that's pretty sucks then also it, the legs don't move if, if you try and move the leg forward it looks like it doesn't doesn't work and that it's hindered by the, the waist but if you move the leg outwards like that and then you turn it at the peg and then you close it again you, you can get more movement in it but be careful because it's plastic on plastic and you if you f force it you're gonna rub the paint or, or even crack the plastic 
same on the other side so not much movement front and back uh, but if you turn the, the leg outwards you can turn it a bit more and then you have a little bit more range single jointed elbows um, single jointed knees sorry <laughs> which yeah uh, too bad uh, no uh, swivel at the boot boot swivel and ankle pivot um, and an ankle um, ankle movement up and down but no ankle pivot man I'm getting I'm getting tired so same on the other side so that's the articulation on this guy could have been better oh and for people that want to know if he can hold his bow the way he should uh, he can he can hold his bow you have to work it you have to be careful not to break anything while you work it but he can hold his bow you have to work your angle a little bit because it looks kind of it doesn't look 100% but he can do it so that's that's that very nice figure do I recommend them if you like the show yes if you're a Green Arrow fan yes it's a nice figure it's not too expensive from the waist up he's basically very good waist down it's a little bit less especially those that leg joint I, I showed you but that was my review you guys hope you liked it if you haven't watched the show watch the show it's very good everyone likes it and I see you next time peace so a quick size comparisons for this guy uh, I put the Batman Origins Batman beside him and they work very well in scale they're pretty much the same scale uh, right of him it's the Marvel Legends Superior Spider-Man uh, standard 6 inch figure and as you can see he's uh, a head shorter than Arrow so I'm guessing this figure is about um, small 7 inches it's bigger as a Marvel Legend anyway he can work with some characters I guess you could scale them up together in a display but it's not perfect scale so but that's no biggie